Jason. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a BioLink website with Canva for free. The first thing you want to do once you have created your Canva account, I want you to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in link in bio. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to this page and on here you'll see numerous templates that you can choose from. So you can quickly scroll down and once you have found a template to your liking, you will select it. Keep in mind that some of the templates you will see a crown that says pro. That means that you would have to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use that particular template. But let's say for example sake, I would like to use this template. All I would need to do is tap on the template, then tap on customize this template. Once you have done that, you'll be redirected to a new page. On this new page, you'll now be able to start making some changes. So for example, each section where you see a photograph right here, all you would need to do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on uploads, and then from there you could tap on upload files and you could add your own images. For example, let's say I wanted to add my image right there. I could simply drag and place it. And I can also change the header image right here if I wanted to by dragging and placing another image. Now, when it comes on to editing the text section, all you have to do is select the text line. Then from there, you can type out the text that you would like to add. And if you would like to change the font style, right where you see Miss Truly on my screen right here, you could tap right there and from there you could select a different font style to your liking. As you can see right here, there are numerous options you can choose from. Now going on, you can change the background color if you want by simply selecting the entire page, then tapping on the color box in the top left hand corner. If I wanted to change the background color, I could do with that. As you can see, there are numerous colors that you can choose from. So you can select a color to your liking and you can quickly adjust it as you can see right there. Now, when it comes on to this section, this is where you'll be adding the links to redirect persons to. So for example, you can see the about me section right here. What I would recommend you do is you'll tap on add page. After you have tapped on add page, you will see that a new page appears and you can tap right where you see page two and you're going to tap right there. And for example, you will type in about me. So you can do that right there. After you have typed in about me, you'll select the page. Then you'll go over to the left hand menu option. And from here, you could tap on text. But before doing that, let's say, for example, you would like to change the background and you want to change the background, you could tap on uploads and from there you could upload a pic. So let's say, for example, I were to go over here, tap on elements. Let's say I'm a photographer, so I'll type in photographer right here. So let's say photographer and I'm going to type in photography background just for example sake to show you how you could add a stunning background. So let's say, for example, I wanted to use this as the background. All I would need to do is drag and place it. Once you have added it, you may be saying that it is too loud. All you'll need to do is tap on the transparency right there. Then from there, you could fade it. So you can see right there. So it now has a faded look. After you have done that, all you'll do is go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text. Then from there, you can select any text style. So I'll tap on that one right there and I'll drag and place it. After doing that, I'm just going to type in about me. Then after doing that, you can add another text box. And after adding the other text box, you can type in some information about yourself and you can quickly type out the information. After you have done that, you will tap right where you see about me right here. And you're going to tap on the three dots then you're going to tap on link once you have tapped on link you're going to see about me in pages in this document you're going to tap right there tap on done so you have now created a link so once someone comes onto your home page and taps on about me they'll be redirected to that page and you can also change the page title for page one so you can type in home right there 
after doing that you can see book a viewing what i would recommend you do for book a viewing is you're going to be using set more set more is a platform that you can use to create booking as it is one of the best booking or appointment softwares around the reason why i consider it the best is not only can you get started for completely free using set more but you can also use it to collect money so with most platforms for example like calendly or so on while you can use it for completely free you will not be able to collect any money through it unless you are on their paid plan but with set more you'll be able to do that and for example i'm signed up with set more right now and all you'll need to do once you're signed up you'll tap on services right here and you can quickly enter the preloaded service or better yet edit the preloaded services by simply tapping on them and you can make any changes you want so you could change the duration you could change the cover image and so on it is quite easy to edit and once you're finished you'll see in the bottom left hand corner right here your booking page and you can see it right there so now that i've copied it if i were to paste it right here you will see how it looks and this is how it looks at the moment so someone could go onto my booking page let's say they would like to book a consultation they can choose the date they can choose the time then they'll be prompt to log in once they have logged in they'll be prompt to this page where they can enter their first name and phone number if they have chosen to skip that then they'll tap on book and from there they'll be prompt to pay and that's it now all we'll need to do is go back onto canva right here and we're going to tap on book a viewing tap on the three dots then we're going to tap right where you see link we're going to paste in our link that we have copied from set more then we're going to tap on done and we have now added a new link after you have done that you can also create an external website that you would use and you can upload your property images so for example we could go back onto canva home page so that is what i would recommend you do go back onto canva home page then from there you're going to select websites after you have selected websites you could tap on website right here after tapping on website you're going to go over to the left hand menu option and you could select layouts after selecting layouts you can see different layout style so for example you could select one of these layouts like this one and then you could upload the different images of the different properties that you're offering all you'll need to do is simply drag and place the images just like this and then once you're finished doing that you will tap on publish your website and you'll copy the url then you'll come back right here and you're going to paste in the url and when it comes on to the contact me option let's say for example you want them to contact you via whatsapp all you will need to do you could open a new tab and you could go on to whatsapp number link you can either choose to use this option or you could tap on the second option right here which is create a wa link after you have done that you'll be redirected to a page like this and all you'll need to do is scroll down then from here you could enter your whatsapp phone number you can also edit the custom message then after doing that you'll tap on generate my wa link and you could go back into canva and then from there you'll paste in the link right here again and once you're finished all you'll need to do is tap on share in the top right hand corner once you have tapped on share you're going to tap on website then you're going to tap on convert to website then after doing that all you'll need to do right now you can tap on continue after tapping on continue you'll tap on publish then you'll give it a few seconds once you have given it a few seconds you'll be provided with a link and this is the link that you'll be able to share with persons and this is the website that they'll be redirected to so all they'll need to do now if they were to tap on the about me section they would be redirected to the about me page if they were to tap on book a uh, viewing right here they would be redirected to set more and they'll be redirected to my booking calendar and that's it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative 
If there's anything more that you would like assistance with, please let me know in the comment section.